to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair, the knock your bitch man. Step up! These are the moments when everybody gun loaded. We not instigate violence, but we believe in the self defense no matter what. These are the moments when every gangster gun loaded. We not instigate violence, but we believe in the self defense. In Jamaica's relentless war and crime, the worst criminals end up on the true island stories platform. These are their stories. Pull it in, pull it in. Quick pull it in for full it in. Yo, Muffet, bring your bully beef in for put it in. No, man. My people, these stories are coming straight out of the True Island Stories WhatsApp Patreon group. So, if you don't want to see the actual, you know, grimy footage first, I do want to name Michi Boy with them bust up your head. Wicked, wicked, not the hills, brother. Don't have green pan. You see me mash out him head, bralo, bralo. You see me, I say, and it is said that the same man we slap with Jakes, a uh, Iman 2 pilgrim, go for Michi. So, them close the double, bralo, bralo. But Michi grime if you didn't know, okay, and put that on YouTube, cause, you know, we and them things said, we know good, you see me, everybody just banned me the other day. So, that picture, for all who want to see it, is in the WhatsApp group. Okay? All right, as that war rages on. No, look closely at this video. No, tell me if them people are mad. Alright, you see video? You see two chuck them a race? Eh? And them and them are overtake from the blind corner blindly. Now, what if a vehicle did a come around the corner at any point in time when one of these two lunatic drivers try to overtake? Eh? What if a taxi that come one more already Banbury with at least about five or six people in it? You couldn't find them. You couldn't find them. So me I said, people, speed kills and show off, bring disgrace. So to prevent accidents, please people, proceed with caution. Don't drive for you alone. Drive for you and the next man. Cause sometimes we don't know where some man they pan in a better. And when music up in a liquor in a middle and gal there in a passenger seat, in a specialist and new okay where the man plan for go slaughter, you know say I'm gonna try him best to impress. But sometimes that effort or those efforts leads into terrible tragedy and people are left burying loved ones and picking up the shattered shards. Okay? Alright. And next thing out of the Patreon group, why I can't even share it, is a grimy video with a pilgrim lie down in a circle, in a square, down a Shamsab square. Now, which part of Shamsab square there? Oh, no, no. Alright, Uno must know where that there, Uno must know no geographic. You understand? But me I tell you people, come like the man them stab out. Not even stab out, you know, but hook so the man just play it and bo 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 boona fimed. Yo, when you look pan the grung in a man, younger say unka flesh, the pan the grung in a pan the concrete with be a blood in a and the pilgrim is like him run off, you know. Cause like you can't see say I run him around and I drop him go drop down. And him drop down upon him back. And him bag the right time foot come. You know when I back, when you know eye style. You see, I put all old sheet, all dirty towel in the back, I walk up and down with. So, I don't know when I feel him backpack, but he drop beside him. Soak with his blood. And him lay down upon him back. Like him, I look and smile if he help him. But nobody helped. You know what they did? They took out their cameras and their video. As is the new trend globally now, instead of a man run go help a man, him, you know, 
see more benefit thing and more hilarious to take out him phone and video the tragedy and put it on social media. Alas, it has dropped in the hands of the guru and it's on the WhatsApp Patreon group. So all who want to see that grimy video there, you to go check that out. All right. And so we'll it more sick in our group, you know, people. Because it's a group around 24 7. You understand me? So some of my things, them, me care if I call out. Look at this video. One amount of cocoa was discovered the other day. Eh? Millions, them say $75 million street value. And them find a man with it in a vehicle. You see me? And when them got him yard, The amount of money where them say, Jesus, please, them buck up another five million dollars. I don't know if a US or Jamaican, but a whole heap of money. And 11 killer killer, color color, cole cole cole. The man, them a hustle hard down there, brother. You don't think money in there, Jamaica. Money down there, fist to one dog and manga where they allow him. I that, me tell. I like me tell, Muffet. I know, no, you yeah, tell, Guru. But at the clash, me want to start. When are the clash? Eh, mm, guru, when are the clash? You know, put out the clash, make me wait, no man. I'll do it short and see what is hot clash. You feel a mean the clash, you know, guru. Because I remember, I just go buy an egg here and soon I'll clash and say, hey, I hear what that true. So I feel those sling back minds, you know. Hey, I hear the clash, go hear the clash. I feel for them, see it, man. Yeah, ma, 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 I spy it there. Rotted. I wanna find back stammer. Yo, go run around and be a mother of him there, man. And say, I tell her a story, man, and about two months I had it. I don't know disrespect it, stammer, but I saw me get it, I saw me have to sell it, brother. I chose stammer. I had to let her know, stammer, man. Stammer, how are we, man? Stammer, how are we? Yes, people. As I say, nothing in our WhatsApp Patreon group. So, when you don't miss out, and you know to join the WhatsApp Patreon group, you have to subscribe to the official Patreon page. And then you will see the instruction and notice on the board in there that um, you reach out to a certain number. And when you reach out to the number, they will ask you for a password. And if you give them the password successfully, then and only then will you be added to this elite and a festive community, the True Island Stories, a patron, a family. Now, before I go, I just want to say this. I've been doing a lot of research on um, historical topics and, you know, checking out Ethiopia. And I did an immaculate two-part interview that will be aired on the True Island History Channel with an Ethiopian and they might tell me some damning things because sometimes when we over one part of the world you know we don't know where I go on you understand in the next side of the world so live and direct you might tell me some things and trust me why you have some colonialists them have them on in a every fire every fire whether directly or indirectly and they change the normalcy of things them change the world order and control the capital per capita you understand so you don't want to miss that. It will be here soon on the True Island History Channel. And if you not check out the, you know, the videos that are on it, feel free to do something and subscribe. You understand me? Because you don't know the channel has grown. We need the strength and the help of the community to push it forward, to accelerate its propensity uh, going forward. All right, people. So this is just a little short, you know, synopsis. You know, quick. Pull it in, pull it in. Quick bulletin for full it in. I remember our ancestors, they fought gallantly, bled profusely, felt pain excruciatingly for us to be given our constitutional right, the right to assembly, one, the right to vote, the right to bear arms, freedom of speech. You understand me? Them fought and bled and now we have the freedom that them couldn't enjoy and look what we are doing with it. It's like we are shit by all of the battles where them fight for we. Now, we have to wise up, brother, and understand the sacrifice, understand them pain, understand that this is not the future that they were fighting for. If many of the rebellion leaders them come out and see how we live now with our freedom that they fought and died in so much numbers for, trust me, if them could have rewind the clock, them just stay a slave and make everybody come feel it. 
I imagine you can walk outside free. You're under the behind shackles unless you commit an offence and police apprehend you. But other than that, you can't, you know, go outside, walk up and down, walk, go in a shop, buy where you want. No, I don't say go. Back in the idea, the slave master named first, and we, we get the chicken back, we get the axe steel, we get the turk in it, we get the pieces with them now. On. And because we have to eat that now, you know what that cause? That cause generational hypertension, hypoglycemia, diabetes, all manner of evil, kidney failure. I know diabetes are the silent killer. So because we have to eat those food and we have to, we never have no fridge now, no way, you know, to keep the meat fresh. Because we can't dash or nothing, we have to put enough salt in it. You understand? To maintain it, you know? And no, we can't eat or uh, buy or uh, all beat. And at this, we carry them things too. You tell you, man, wise up. Wise up, man. Have sense, man. God no give you sense, you not have sense. Him give you sense, you have sense. Bless up. Walk well, good and take care. But if you choose to pick up the gun or the knife, then there's a chance. You might end up in two island stories. What? Well, you choose a... Why do you ask them so come like the one here, the holy girl in the man? Hey. Yeah, I hear you, I Question. What will you choose? Let go the gun and come and TIS news. What will you choose? Cry peace all day in the field. What will you choose? Let go the gun and come and CVM news. What will you choose? Choose, lose, lose. Look, see, God with the touch. Nighttime, them run out fully dark. Guns on one another, everything a sparks. But who are the piranha? Which one of the shark? Moon and black rims, but the cats seem soft. And I estimate the pass and get them at dark. Screamers and white dream and them a war. Whole place fuck up from them gone with the boss. Scared them we dream a rock man dark. Whole place someone from them like a playboy. When the man drop, and who get the joy? Panty eyes, you turn star, but what will you choose? Let go the go that come panty eyes, no, so what will you choose? Cry peace and day in the field, what will you choose? Let go the go that come and see the M news, so what will you choose? Cry peace and day in the field, what will you choose? What will you choose? Oh, what will you you choose, uh, what me? You choose, uh, Charlie Wap, Black Dom, Rock Foot, Mikey Pelp, Elena Boat, No, no, Jack, but him badness a good. Jet Clee, make enough man fret for God. Chubby Jed and Pogo out of salt. Nothing mad than you, enough man in mud. Junglist, them we kill you, then go burn down your house. See, Elena, tent a TN in a thump, none no more. Hey, you do the crime, then, you do the time. Can't escape, you can't blur the line. I choose the fifth and tear off the same And you can't mix up dukes man with up a film Marcel Port Malone assassin One more shot to the court by the bing Rock court rise the four and the god that I sing What will you choose? Let go the gun and come and TIS news What will you choose? Cry peace all day in the field What will you choose? Let go the gun and come and see me M news What will you choose? Choose, lose, lose During the first Maroon War, the Maroons used guerrilla tactics to inflict greater losses on the colonial militias in terms of both manpower and expense. Now in 1730, Sopa led a large force against the windward Maroons, but once again, Maroons, led by Nani and Kwako, defeated the militia. The next year, two additional regiments arrived in Jamaica to assist Hunter in fighting the Maroons because he was losing men like flies being swatted in the kitchen. I'm telling you. In 1732, Hunter sent three parties against the windward Maroons and they occupied Nanny Town, when the Maroons led by Nanny, with the further into the Blue Mountains now, that was where we had the advantage. 
The occupation of Nani was expensive and until eventually we call the militia along the Maroons we take their town without a fight. They just walked in and said, mm, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this. Do not come back here. The next year, Hunter sent a party of British seamen against the Windward Maroons. But again, the Maroons were resilient in their bravery and their warrior tactics. Maroons defeated them once more. We were victorious. Praise be to God.